Yo Sin, welcome back today you guys. Have you guys ever logged into Monopoly Go and you pull up your friends list and that little invite bar pops up and it, you know, if you invite friends to play, you'll get dice and maybe even more little figurines so you can go around the map? Well, I don't have that many friends either, but I figured out how to fill the bar. Let's hop right into it. So the two different apps that we're gonna be using today the first one is called Parallel. It's basically an Android cloning app. So you're gonna be able to look at this as a, like having a second device essentially. Like you're gonna download the Parallel app and then you'll be able to put apps into the Parallel app, like a second phone. And then if you use apps that are in the Parallel app, it won't affect your actual device or any of the apps that are running on your actual device. It'll just be completely separate only for the Parallel app. And the other app that we're gonna be using today, it's called Firefox Focus. And it's just a web browser that you can just quickly download so you can put it into your Parallel app and use that as an internet browser within the parallel app and now let's hop into it and i'm gonna show you guys exactly what to do with these two apps all right so after you've downloaded those two clips this is the uh friends bar that i'm telling you guys about that we're so interested in filling so we can get dice and other figurines and stuff like that and let's hop right into it i just wanted to show you guys exactly what we're trying to accomplish here now with the first thing you're going to do you're going to see me back out here in just a second and pull up the parallel app for the first time, it's gonna look just like this. You're gonna have like an agree and continue type situation. You just click it past. And you'll see here, it just pops up a few apps that are familiar to you already. You just wanna hit the plus sign, scroll on down, and add the Firefox Focus app into the Parallel app. And as you see there, it's gonna try to pop up real quick, just back out a bit. Then hit the plus, and go ahead and go add Monopoly Go into the Parallel app. So this is a separate Monopoly Go. I still have my other Monopoly Go running. You can see it there. So I go back to my original game, my game, the one I care about. Go to your friends list. Go to the invite and get your invite code. You can see here, I was just seeing if I could use the Facebook code or if I had to use the messenger code because I was just trying to figure it out all for myself. I, named, I mainly just used the messenger code and it worked all the same for me. So you see here, just hit share. I hit copy to copy my link for my friend, for my account, you know, the one that I actually care about. And then you're just gonna go back to your apps, head on back over to parallel. And what you're gonna see me do here is I'm gonna start up the Firefox focus and I'm gonna put copy, I mean, I'm gonna paste my friend code link into the Firefox web browser. And you're gonna see here, you need to kind of edit the URL and delete all the other letters that are before the HTTP. Just make sure that your link starts with HTTP. You just need to uh, back up and delete all the uh, uh, download Monopoly Go stuff that it says before. Just make sure you have it look just like how I have it here on screen. And then when you do that, it's gonna pop up and want to open up Monopoly Go. Just click OK. And now you're opening up Monopoly Go within the Parallel app. Not your account, not the one that you care about, not the one on your phone. You're opening up a fresh Monopoly Go in a fresh web browser that is cloned. Now, you see here, I just click Guest and just click Guest that second time and start your new fresh guest account. Now you see here, it's gonna put you through a little cinematic, a little starting cinematic. And when you get through that, you should immediately get the ping that you have a friend a new friend but what we're going to do here is i'm going to go through and actually show you i also i upgrade the statues a few times simply because now this is an extra target on my friends list that i can just keep hitting over and over again and those towers regenerate themselves about once every hour so it's very nice to have these on your friends list you can just keep hitting them now you see here on the screen I'm gonna pick my little ship. And now you see in the bottom right hand corner, there's the little red symbol above the friends. That means that I have a friend and that friend is from using your friend code. And now I'm gonna head over to my main account and show you that I also, I, there's the new friend, the little notification that pops up. And the a name for the account is normally like ostrich or kitty or something like that, something silly. And when you do that, at that point, you should be having your friend bar code go up 
just like you here see on the screen for me. And once you've finished all those steps and you're looking to go do this a second time and do it again, head on over to your settings, go down to apps, go down and find the parallel app, click storage and delete that cache and the data. And then you can go ahead and rinse and repeat this strategy. Now, I will tell you that I did this once, twice before, and it took like 10 minutes for the game to actually register it and make my friend bar go up. And But after I waited the 10 minutes, I did it a second time, and then it worked right away the second time, like flawlessly. So this definitely has to be how people are filling up the friends bar. This is how probably people are trying to sell the service of filling the friends bar. And I'm sure this is probably how people are doing it. I'm sure people don't have just a hundred friends or downloading Monopoly Go for them. You know, I really don't think that's actually what's going on. But anyways, this is how you can do it by yourself. And I know it seems like it could be a hassle to do that like 50 times in a row to fill your friends bar. But just imagine doing it like five times a day. You'll be done in a month, you'll have everything done, and you'll have unlocked all the rewards. And then if they want to add more friend rewards later, <laughs> you'll be ready to do the same thing again. So I thought this was really cool, and I know there's a lot of people that are actually paying for this service. So I just wanted to let everybody know about this to make sure that you guys can take advantage of it and you guys aren't having to pay real money or, or try to harass all your friends to download Monopoly Go. And if this was helpful at all, remember to go on down, give me a like and a sub. It helps way more than you guys know, and I appreciate it so much. And and go ahead and leave down any comments if you know any other cool strategies or any ways to, you know, work Monopoly Go in your favor to save a little bit of cash. You know, we love that. And Yosin out.